Hello, YouTube, and we got a hundred subscribers. Hundred plus. Hundred plus. It's hundred eight as we're making this video. Yes, it is. That is a huge excitement for us. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Um, thank you for everyone that has subscribed and everyone that has watched, ever watched, liked, or commented on any 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 of our videos. I mean, even, even before the I dislikes. Was here. Even the dislikes. I mean, because you know, any feedback is is good feedback. Um, that being said, we're doing a very very special video for you today. Um. It's going to be the serum matchup, which would be which is the better, I guess, uh, kind of, you know, superhuman serum, uh, the Venom derivative or the Super Soldier serum. And uh, you know, this was suggested to us by my stepdad Mike. Uh, so shout out to him for that. Uh, but you know, in the wake of you know the Avengers and with Dark Knight Rises looming on the horizon. Uh, this is an interesting matchup, and it, prevent, it presents an interesting question. Uh, lots of variables to consider when you compare the two. Uh, and I guess I'm going to start it off with uh, the Venom derivative. Yeah, just first off, take note. We have the pictures of yeah. Cap. We have pictures of Bane. Mostly because not we're not comparing the characters with no. the serum, but we're comparing the serum itself. Yeah. So... Those just, are just, yeah. Yeah, we just have it there because those are the most popular. Yeah. And, you know, when you think of Super Soldier Serum, you think of Captain America. When you think of the Venom Serum, you think of Bane. So. Yep. And this is... All right, so uh, I'm going to start it off. Um, yes. You know, Bane, of course, being, you know, the most obvious face of Venom, the Venom derivative. Um, it's a highly addictive super steroid. That's the bottom line. And that's And that's... That really sums it up perfectly. It's highly addictive, but it's a super steroid. Um, me and Hybrid were talking about this earlier, uh, and we were thinking about it. And you know, Captain America is peak uh, is peak human uh, with the Super Soldier Serum. It kind of jumped him to peak human ability in you know strength, speed, and stamina, and durability. But and yet, when we were doing our Captain America versus Batman video, that was one of the hardest things to do because both of them are peak human. Captain America got his through serum, and Batman got his through training. Um, and I, Batman ended up winning, winning that matchup by votes. By votes, uh, you guys voted. You guys said Batman, um, and that that's pretty interesting to consider. Uh, when six you look to at, nine. Six to nine. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, something to consider when you um, when you're looking at this because uh, Bane being a Batman villain, someone brought up that Captain America is pretty similar to Bane in the fact that they both use a serum to take them. Uh, to strength, but I think they also said that you know, then Batman being the intelligent guy that he is, as well as being peak human, Batman was able to win uh, eventually. Uh, so, you know, Venom, like I said, it's highly addictive, and that's really the pitfall of it, is that it's... Uh, you, you get addicted to it fast. That's Bane's problem. That's why he's got to have a supply constantly into the back, into his neck, so that, you know, or at least he's in contact with it more, uh, a lot if he's not hulked out all the time. But, um, because it's, it's really addictive and he goes through super withdrawal. And when studying Venom, uh, Batman was trying to overcome its limitations and learning about it and stuff. And eventually he just had to lock himself in the back cave and detox for a couple days um, before, to get it out of his system just because it was so addictive. Because um, it would make actually being not around Venom, if you're addicted to it, makes you weaker than when you started. So, the and it, it's, like I said, it's got, like, massive withdrawal effects. Um, so, you know, it's really interesting when you consider the fact that, you know, the Super Soldier Serum has none of the withdrawal symptoms, but Venom, while, you know, I feel like Venom, honestly, because uh, Venom has a lot of withdrawal systems, but another thing to consider is that you know, Captain America, um, Captain America, the, with his super social serum, that pushes him to basically peak human everything but intelligence. And um, that, that literally upped him to really, really high standards of strength and speed and other stuff. But Venom, um, honestly, when you look at Batman, Batman 2 is considered to be at the, the top of human abilities, really, in terms of strength and speed and stuff like that, just because of his years of training. But with Venom, the fact that Bane was able to be so much stronger than Captain America. I use that as a standard to tell, to say, or not Captain America, Batman. I apologize. Uh, the fact that Venom made Bane so much stronger than Batman. I was about to say Captain America again. Uh, 
tells me, using that little standard of measurement there, that tells me that Venom pushes his strength, at least his strength, if not his speed as well, to um, superhuman levels. Um, and that might just be because Bane himself is not in bad shape and is already is very intelligent and already close to peak human strength by himself, just because of the nature of his training as well. But, um, and that, you know, take that as a caveat, it might just be because Bane himself was pretty strong without Venom. Um, but I don't know, just if we're assuming that, you know, Venom has the same effects, which I think you, if you look at comic books, it does, it turns people into sort of, you know, these giant muscular muscles on muscles on muscles guys, I think it's pretty safe to assume that, you know, such a serum pushes you you know, beyond peak human into the realm of superhuman. And like I said before, the only downfall is uh, if you don't have it around all the time, you go through crazy withdrawal and end up weaker than you were before. Uh, and with that, I hand it off to Hybrid to present his case. <coughs> okay. So, essentially, for the super soldier serum, I think it's more effective. And the reasons why is because, essentially, no matter really what shape you're in, a perfect example is Steve Rogers. If you know what he was like before, he was really weak and stuff like that. It pushes you, it pushes your body at least to the peak of human potential. So that says a lot with itself, like speed, durability, strength, and also intellectually as well, as it was shown that Steve Rogers and the other people who, who have received the serum later on if they have had the serum itself and not a variation of it, they seem to have photographic memory and whatnot. But with that being said, you know, it doesn't bring you to superhuman levels because obviously it's peak human potential. But I think all around it's, I think it's a better serum because there's, there's not the whole dependency issue and there's no really feed or not feedback, but, um, Withdrawal. withdrawal from it if you don't have it because it self-replicates itself and when it gets in your body and especially if you do it properly and saturate it with the vital rays but then again the venom serum doesn't do that or derivative doesn't do that and who knows if you were to saturate it with the vital rays maybe it would be permanent but with that being said I just want to say really that I feel if Bane were to go up against Captain America and I know it's not what the video is about, but I think if he, they were to, hand-to-hand -hand wise, Captain America would have the advantage. I mean, why? Why? Because, yes, Bane's stronger, and arguably because the strength would go to his leg muscles faster. Captain America, the serum, makes you more all-around more stronger and faster, stuff like that. Yeah. So it's not just bulky, but it's more compact, lean, and... Yeah, you know, also, if you didn't know... Uh, hybrid is a self-taught uh, expert on human anatomy and physiology of muscles and stuff like that. He's he is the master. He's he's pretty cut. But um, moving on. Um, I think I don't know hand to hand wise. I mean, yeah, Captain America. He, yeah, sure. It, They're actually know, really it equal. Makes him more well. They are actually surprisingly equal in terms of how many like pros and cons. Um. I think the the other thing it comes down to is Bane is also I think Captain America didn't really receive any uh, like the level of hand to hand training Batman did and that's a, that was one of the key sided reasons that a lot of uh, people mentioned and saying that Batman would beat Captain America I think to the same level you look at Bane Bane had been training like his whole life and True. since because he was if you don't know anything about Bane he was born in jail for the crimes of his father literally. Uh, and he was raised in jail, and as such became pretty tough. And was he was experimented on, and he traveled around trying to challenge himself to beat. You know, he was kind of like almost like a big game hunter. Really, he wanted to challenge himself to beat like the next big thing. Um, but so I mean, he trained and he trained and he trained and he learned all these fighting styles, or not all these fighting styles, but he came became really good at the fighting style he ended up using, which is a very uh, you know, it's it's almost translatable to MMA fighting today, uh, in terms of how he fights. Lots of you know grapples. If you didn't know, he breaks Batman's back. Uh, 
in the comics in Nightfall. Um, and he's also kind of a shrewdly analytical. Um, but, you know, we're not talking about Bane <laughs> or Captain America. We're talking about the serums. Uh, so it went off on a tangent there. But, you know, it just I, I kind of agree with Hybrid that Super Soldier Serum would make you a little more well-rounded, and it doesn't have the negative effects of withdrawal, but I think just because of, uh, like, in a, in a like close-quarters fight, like, in a ring or something like that for no other... Anybody with it. Arena. Anybody with Either Super or. Soldier Serum, it would automatically push them to the peak human abilities. Um, but I feel like Venom... Venom's uh, the fact that Venom just makes you so strong and so fast, uh, or at least strong to the superhuman levels, and I guess fast in the. I mean, it makes you bulky, but I would assume it makes you a little fast too, because Bane was pretty quick. Um, depending on what you're reading, but um, uh, you know, just I would say for the strength of it, like in a one-on-one -on -one fight, if you if you're not talking about separating the person from the Venom, I think Venom wins. Well, yeah, but then again, there's also, if you're going to talk about the serums, there's obviously examples of other people with the serums being, for example, the fact, and I feel this, I feel I like just did injustice to the whole serum debate because of the fact that the serums that Captain America got were saturated, while they never say if the ones Bane got were saturated at all. And with that being said, I liked, I guess... Just to be fair for this, I would like to turn to a man named Isaiah Bradley. Isaiah, Isaiah Bradley, sorry. And he was one of the people after Steve Rogers to receive a super soldier serum. He's an African American male, and they actually show that he has side effects from getting the serum, being Alzheimer's and some mental issues so then again possibly the soldier the super soldier serum does have side effects also it's shown in Sentry, even though his serum is increased just about a thousand times more it's still the serum i guess so it shows that the serum is possible to have side effects it's just that i guess when you saturate it with the vita rays it i guess doesn't allow the side effects to occur but then again I just had to point that out because I felt if I didn't point that out, it would be more. It wouldn't be a fair debate. So there you go right. for you, white sheep. And, but then again, it still it takes a long time for the side effects to occur. So I yeah. think in the case of Isaiah Bradley, it was, he, does, he developed Alzheimer's later in life. Yeah. But um, I guess that about wraps it up. Um, we've both given our final arguments for the for each of our serums. Um, as with any. I guess versus video, like, comment, subscribe with who you think would win. Um, I'm sticking with Venom. I'm sticking with the Sewer Soldier Serum, and please, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll do the finale for the comic book versus a three-way, Monkey D, Luffy, Mr. Fantastic, and Plastic Man. Yep. So stick by for that. Yeah, hang tight. Uh, and we'll also have a breakdown of Dark Knight Rises Trailer 3 coming out soon. And, yeah. I guess. Good stuff. Maybe maybe the other amazing Spider-Man if we yeah, get into it. Yeah, I like that. We'll probably release those pretty quick. A small knife. All right, all right. Um, you know, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to the 108 subscribers we have now. Um, you know, shout out to all of you that have ever watched one of our videos. Just thank you for sticking with us for the past, I guess, year at this point. Um, I'm white sheep. And I'm hybrid. And we'll see you next time.